Okay guys, so to get started with this uh, lovely mask, I need some cotton ball, a mannequin head is what I use for my cosmetology school, lace hack, and I also have a rough sketch with some measurements of my boyfriend's face, this way I can fit his face as good as possible. Okay, now on to the fun part. Now I'm beginning my latex and cotton ball build up. I also keep a blow dryer nearby to help the process go a little bit faster. And just a little heads up while working with latex, I definitely recommend not wearing nice clothes because they will get ruined. Also guys, keep in mind that this is just the base of my mask. Um, depending on the measurements of my boyfriend's face, they will change like exactly where the eye hole is might be different further in the video and you will see it. I did roughly three to four or five layers of cotton on the face and blow dried it and I also set it with a baby powder. This way it just locks in tight. And I do this throughout the whole entire face. Okay, so this is what the whole entire face looks like. You can see I went up and around the eyes and I left a big space for the mouth. Now, while I noticed that the chin wasn't long enough, so I'm using folded up tin foil and I'm elongating the chin. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it underneath the latex so it's hanging a little bit over the chin. And I'm just going to keep applying latex, applying cotton, using a blow dryer, and then applying, applying another layer of late, uh, latex and cotton, and blow drying it until it's sturdy enough where I can feel, the, feel it right off the tin foil and it'll be connected to the chin, as you will see in this video. my 14 year old pit bull mix. Anyway, so as you can see here, I'm blow drying the piece. I'm checking to see if it's drying and starting to slightly pull up the forehead area and the cheekbone area to see if it's drying up.
Okay, so I went ahead and I peeled everything off and this is what the result looks like. Now I know it doesn't look like much. It's kind of hard to believe that this what turns eventually into this. Now if you guys are interested to see how I turn this bad boy into this bad boy on the right, stay tuned. I'm posting another video. Other than that guys, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.